that I've been on sabbatical since last July. So that means that I haven't needed to be here all the time. So I've spent two months in Europe and I was in a month in New York and I'm traveling as much as possible because I don't have students that need me <laughs> all week. <laughs> and um, my studio practice has been really interesting and because now that I've, I've had this opportunity, which is a huge gift, to um, be able to just focus on my research and my own work, um, I've been somewhat outside of the studio. You know, I've been in an outside space. So that's why I wanted all of you, when you came tonight, to be in the outside. I've been shooting video in my backyard, in the alley. Um, I've been learning line dancing and two-stepping. And um, I've been doing things, you know, finding other places where I can have teachers and be taught something that I don't know. Um, and what, um, so that's been really interesting for me because I'm so, like recently, I mean, yes, I do performance work, but I also make objects. I mean, if you saw the show at Phoenix Art Museum, you know, like they are objects and the bonnets are definite objects and they're meticulous and time consuming and super, you, ha you know, anyone, I have a lot of assistance when I'm doing larger projects with those because, um, they take so long to make, but everyone has to be pretty OCD and <laughs> pretty like um, able to sit in silence and because I can't have a lot of clutter and sound around me when I'm working in the studio. Um, so it's often um, a group of women sitting and putting pins in bonnets. So for me, it's really wonderful. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about my my practice, I guess. I mean, you can go, Lisa has a beautiful gallery. She has my work. You can go see the work there. So rather than show you bonnets, I thought I would talk about how I, w how I work. And I do cross a lot of disciplines. Um, trained as a painter, and um, I continue a drawing practice and a two-dimensional surface practice, as well as sculpture and installation and performance. But all of the work is driven by the idea, so it's all concept driven. De depending on what I want to say, I just you know determine what material is going to be best to to say it in. So um, I don't know if any of you have seen the, the sister wife performances. So I love what Lisa said. She talked about Utah. I grew up in Utah. I do come from this sort of blue blood um, Mormon lineage, um, and. It's a, it's a history that as soon as I moved out of Utah and went to school back east and then lived in Europe, it was a history that I never spoke about and was really ashamed of and felt like I just wanted to be a creative art person and that was an environment that really, for me, not for everyone, was really um, uh, restrictive and I didn't feel like I could ask questions, I didn't feel like um, my creativity was supported at all. So. Um, then when I moved back to the States is when I realized I'm, fr I'm American, <laughs> I'm American, I come from this, you know, early Mormon polygamy, like, I, it's like, it goes down to the earth there, and colonization, all kinds of things. So it was an opportunity for me to look back at my personal history, my family history. And as a queer person in the world, it started to become clear to me that the, the structure of polygamy although extremely patriarchal, is somewhat queer. It's, it's outside of a heteronormative uh, relationship, or it, it's outside of heteronormativity. So that became really, I felt like this is a place where I can start to understand my history in a, in a funny way. Um, so that's, that's where the bonnets come in. Um, they, the, bon the bonnets that were, who saw the bonnets at Phoenix Art Museum? So those nine are, to this point, are the only installation of bonnets that will, I really insisted on staying together because they're all the wives of my great-great-grandfather and he had nine. So um, it's great that Phoenix Army, Art Museum has that piece. Um, the other wives that, and which exist and are represented in bonnets are the wives of Joseph Smith. And those started back in 2000. Eight, 2008 or 2009, 
and I've just been slowly um, making those over the years, and there will be a total of 35. They will not all be together. I have about 10 or 12 more to do in that period, so I'm coming to, and there have been quite a few that have been made. Um, and uh, how all this more, you know, it's not just about, um, I don't like to think about my work that it's about Mormonism, or I'm like the Mormon-ish lesbian <laughs> artist, or, you know, like, be so defined like that. Um, but I do think of it, like, I like to think of it as reimagining a community, because early Mormon polygamy was written as a utopia, and they had something called the United Order, which was a totally self-sustaining community of people, obviously led by a religion, but that they could support each other um, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And there were a few communities that were started and lasted for quite a while. But, I mean, it's, a, it's communism, basically. <laughs> and that's very interesting to me. But I like to reimagine that community as all women. Like, what happens if it's a community of all women? So I have a lot of women that I work with on my projects. Um, some people volunteer, some people I hire for certain periods of time. Um, and the sister wives that you're seeing here, this loop video, is um, I do performances where the sister wives, I call them my sister wives, um,